So guys, I got a TBR cart. It is in the color, I call it Seafoam or Mint, which is I think what it is. And the way I have it kind of laid out is the books I'm most excited to read, then kind of the others and extras that I'm excited, but not quite ready to read yet. And then at the bottom, I have the books that are kind of like a filler. I want to read them, and I do, but I want to finish these first. So I'm going to show you what's on my cart. I'm missing one, two, three, four books. So My Calamity Jane, Before the Devil Breaks You, American Royals, and Lisa Jules, uh, The Family Upstairs. So I have to get those. I have a book haul going to be coming soon that I'm going to probably hopefully haul together so you can see but yeah let's do a little tbr cart so i have the first one is brand new i just bought this one from book outlet i know a lot of people are frowned upon a book outlet i have a really bad he reading habit and i don't have a lot of money so i gotta make do with what i got <laughs> so i got the inheritance games by jennifer lynn barnes then um, I read a lot of indie authors, so generally a large scale of my books are indies, as well as I do have published authors, but here's an indie author called Isle of Madden Mills, and this is Dirty English. Then I have Aaron Watt is a combination of Jen Frederick and L. Kennedy. So L. Kennedy, I have Hotter Than Ever and Getting Hotter, and she is both half a published author with... Uh, a combined penmanship with somebody else and then a lot of her other ones are for sure indies then i have another indie author called T tijan it's the not outcast <laughs> um and she is an indie author again we have isla Madden mills this is the revenge pact um yeah the revenge pact and then I have my favorite, Sarah Nye. I'm really excited for this one. Um, this is Hard Luck. It is a Trophy Boyfriend's novel. Then I have another, in, um, Sarah Nye is an indie. Megan Quinn is an indie, and it's The Romantic Pact. And then another indie author I have is Tegan Hunter, and this is Crave Thy Neighbor. Um... Then I have Goodbye Paradise and Hello Forever by Serena Bowen, who is an indie author. Then I have Overachiever by S.M. Shade, which is an indie author. Then um, this one is Mafia Casanova by M. Robertson and Rachel Van Dyken. Rachel Van Dyken is published and indie, and then I'm pretty sure M. Robertson is an indie. Then I have another Megan Quinn. This is Boss Man Bridegroom. She is an indie. And then I have three. Go check the back. Yeah, okay. I have three of Julia Quinn's On the Way to the Wedding. It's In His Kiss and The Happily Ever After by Julia Quinn. These ones I'm not going to pull out and read. But we're going to go to the back, which is some more Julia Quinn's book. So I've got Because of Miss Bridgerton, The Other Miss Bridgerton. Um, get out of the boxes, Satan. <laughs> a night like this. He's playing in the boxes. Just like heaven that I got, uh, my books in. <laughs> and then I got, uh, the sum of all kisses. And then, um, I've got some more back here, which I won't fully go through. Unless you really want me to go through it. Then I'll kind of show you, like, out of here, I'll tell you the ones I'm really excited for. Um, I want to read the flip side. I want to read The Bromance Book Club, The Undercover Bromance, Jackie Burton's All Consuming. Um, I want to read Red, White, and Royal Blue, um, Blindsided by Victoria Denault. Um, and then I have Sherry Thomas's uh, A Conspiracy in Bel Bull Gravia, A Study in Scarlet Women, and The Follow, The, the Follow, The Hallow of fear and then i have one more left in there and then those are kind of my last ones down there again i can do a really full in-depth where i take it apart especially with the new books that are coming but overall i'm really really excited i'm really excited to pile these down um i have two megan quinn's i have the oh i can't remember what they are i'm almost done the one um 
it's the Getting Lucky series. I'm pretty sure is what it's called. Um, the only one I don't have and I ha I'm not able to purchase because it's not in paperback is that swoony feeling. But those are what I'm currently reading. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know in the comments down below if you want a full one. What next videos you want to watch. Um, I'm going for a week off, so I'm going to be filming a pile. So that's definitely something I really, really would like to know to be able to get that out for you. So yeah, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.